apparently a lot of you like these videos. I'm surprised, but I appreciate it. So, we're not going to let one apple spoil the whole bunch. Um, you know, I said in that last video that I was going to stop making these because they're so loud and blah, blah, blah. And I bet you about, I don't know, five or ten of you. I said to keep it rocking, keep it going. You like these videos. So, let's talk about um, pricing. Now, somebody just posted a comment, and I'm going to tell you right now here publicly, I apologize for coming off as an asshole. Straight up. I apologize. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, and I understand, you know, it's, easy to misunderstand what goes on, but um, being in my position, you know, there's no excuse for me to act the way I did with the comment I did. And then, I'm not going to delete it because I screwed up, you know what I mean? So, what I am going to uh, clear up the, the misunderstanding that this person has. Um, so let's. Uh, I guarantee that to get everybody back to that old video. <laughs> but um, so I ran a one pick one drop of the jeans, you know, and it paid three fifty a mile for for the whole pack, right? And they commented about the broker made of money because there's no way those Jeeps paid less than a dollar a mile. So first of all, most cars do not pay a dollar a mile. They just don't. Um, you know, a car is no different than a partial in freight. So, obviously the person that makes the most money in freight are the big trucks that haul full loads, right? Well, it's the same thing in car hauling, except our full loads are nine car stingers. So, if you talk to a broker or you talk to anybody and uh, they talk about a full load, they're talking about a nine pack. Okay? That, we call them packs. You got a three pack, a four pack, a five pack, a nine pack, whatever. So, cars are based on, their con cars are contractual freight. Just like anything else. So, they may call the broker and say, hey, I've got 500 Jeeps that I need moved from A to B. Or uh, they're at A, and they go all over the country. And that's usually what happens. Uh, they'll come out of rail yards, they'll come out of ports, and, you know, all that stuff. So they will give them a contract on those. They may say, I'm doing for 400 a car. 300 a car. Now, obviously, every one of those cars aren't going to pay 300. Some of them are going to have to pay 700. So others are going to have to pay two. If that makes sense to you. So, business is all about the end game. Right? So they don't worry about making three dollars, and I'm just using a number, or I'll use an easy number. They don't worry about making five dollars per car. They worry about making 20 grand at the end. Because you worry about making five dollars per car at the end, and you have some that need to pay double then, you know, that's, that comes into a, um, that's a problem. And I'm going to show you 
Just right now there's people like he's full of it, he's full of it. I have a POL where I got a thousand dollars to run a car. The customer, I have their receipt, paid four hundred and ninety-six dollars. The broker lost five hundred dollars on that run. They lost money on that run. Does that mean they lost money? No, it doesn't. That means they moved the unit at all costs. They did what they had to use, move a unit. So those other cars that are getting, you know, that they have 25% profit margin on, some of that is going towards the ones they're lo losing money on. And if you think cars are moving and they're not losing money, you got a lot of research, you know? And, you know, that, that's where I try to come to play. But now, and I get it, most people aren't gonna listen to me. They're not gonna believe me, and, you know? That's just not, they're called non-believers, you know? So, the more cars you pick up in one spot, the cheaper they are per unit, right? Because I make, let's say I can move one car and I'll make a hundred bucks. But now I'm going to move nine cars and make 80 bucks. See where that makes sense? And you're already there. So your mileage is better because you're not wasting the fuel. You're not consuming all that time. Because when you do singles, like I do a lot, I do a lot of singles. Um, so when I do the singles, I need to uh, rearrange for the loaded times. So just because I pick them up doesn't mean that's the way they ride. That may work on a wedge or on a two car, it will work. But on a, on a five sack, it ain't working. Oh, they got the rest area closed. Imagine that. So, some cars will pay a dollar a mile. Don't get it twisted. But they're not going to be where everybody else is. Like, you're going to get a dollar a mile to go out of your way, to go off the beaten trail. You're running up and down 95, you ain't getting no dollar a mile. You ain't even getting 90 cents, 80 cents a mile. It just does not work that way. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. So, when, but what confuses people is they see um, high rates, like out here in Missouri or Oklahoma, you're gonna see 80, 90 cents a mile, dollar a mile. There's cars out here, dollar fifty a mile for one car. Well, people think every car should pay that. No, because there's trucks. They're, if you're getting those miles, that price, that's a specialty car for some reason, one reason or another. It's either an in -op, it's too big, it's too long, or just nobody stops at that town. And I, I've explained it before. If you're running, from, if everybody's running from Connecticut to Florida, well, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Delaware are going to have higher paying cars. Because everybody starts up here, nobody's picking up cars here because they're loaded. They're going to shoot. 
Well, the person to V-Box to here is going to get this car. And if this car's been sitting a week, they got to pay money. And until the truckers figure out that the easy way is not the best way, you're not going to win. There's a reason I run the way I run. Not because I want to. Not because I like not seeing my family. And not because I'm lazy. Because $5,000 on 1,400 miles is damn good money. Even if I'm only getting three grand back, that's still good money. And you got guys on the East Coast running for less than that. Because they don't want to deal with the hills. They don't want to deal with the mountains. You get paid for adversity. You get paid for not being home. You get paid for mountains. You get paid for hills. You go to New York City, they better be paying you for traffic. You get paid to do what no one else will. So now back to the pricing structure. Try to stick to that. Um, so the bigger brokers are always going to pay less. The reason they can do that is because of their volume, because they're running volume. So they can wait on a car to be moved because of the volume they have from that broker. They can, uh, they have that contract locked, so they're not trying to earn the, bro the customer. They're not trying to earn them. They've already got them. They've got them locked in for a year, if that makes sense. So, if you want big money, you work for the little guys that need their cars right away because every car counts. Every dollar counts. If you're working for Hendricks Motorsports, right, or Hendricks dealerships, or even Penske's, it doesn't really matter if their car sits an extra couple days to the little guy. To Mr. Penske, absolutely it matters. Mr. Penske's not running. So the guy down below that is paid off the numbers, the pure profit. He's not willing to give up all that money. Mr. Penske's like, get it going and get it done. It's all about who you're dealing with in the chain of command. Brokers are the same way. If you get a manager, they want to move because they're paid on every car. Every dollar adds up. To someone over it all. If you're in charge of Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, Pennsylvania, you only get paid on those four states. Those cars need to maximize profit. So that, that's where it all comes from. It's supply and demand. It's where they added the numbers. It even matters what month it is, what day of the month it is. And, and I know guys that that run, uh, like if you're leased on and you have a pay schedule, you'll get this. So if you have a car that is 50 or 100 bucks cheaper, but you can get it in, you can deliver it a day earlier and get it in on your payroll, what are you gonna do? A lot of guys are gonna take that 50 or 100 dollar cut just to get, get their money, keep it moving, keep it moving. It, it's all the same, it's all the mentality. It's all based on the numbers. So, I know this video went, went way out in left field. And if you don't understand, I'm sorry, but that's what all comes down to money. So, you wanna make good money, you don't run where everybody's at. You wanna maximize your profit, you look for a niche. I, I, 
I've been saying that word since I came out of mama's womb. My niche, my niche, my niche. My niche is like my itch, where I get paid. You know what I mean? You get your niche and you'll fulfill your itch. That's a pretty good one. But, alright guys, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Holla at your boy, Hot Shot Wedge at Gmail. And now, let me. Right, now, this is going to be totally different, but dude, I got. Let me explain this. Because I have people doing this, and this is the ultimate, in my opinion, the ultimate disrespect. So, about two months ago, my truck broke down. Right? So I asked for help. I put a video out there. Somebody said they could help me, but they needed my number. Well, I put my number out there, right? And now, let me go back a second. There's a reason I charge for consultations and all that stuff. A, it's time consuming. B, I have a lot of time, energy, and money into what I know. Everything I know, people can find out. People can get the same information. Matter of fact, almost all my information has been put out there for free. But if you need to call me and consume my time that you want to get paid for when you go to work for your time, Right? You want to get paid for that. So, if I'm on the phone with you, I can't be paying attention to the load board. I can't be calling brokers. I can't be contacting future customers. You know, I am dedicated to you. Giving you the knowledge. No different than a personal trainer, a fitness coach, or a CPA, or a tax guy. It's all the same. But there is people that will go way beyond out in left field to search my number out. They won't research for trucking. They'll search my number out to avoid $25. And they call me for the information. So if you guys don't go to work for free, right? And there's a lot of people even people I know pay for it. You know, pay for the knowledge, pay for the time and all that. You know, because $25 can save you a lot, a lot of money. And it's not about the money. Because if you email me or message me and I can, I will call you back. Or I'll message you back. Sometimes when you email me, I'll call you. But the fact that you skated the system for your own benefit, didn't give a shit about me. My eyes, that's disrespectful. Just my opinion. So, it's almost like a step to services. You know, like if you give me, if you give somebody a, a price, and they go behind you, call around and get to your boss, or whoever, and get you to do the job for, for nothing as a favor, you're gonna be upset same thing. So guys, if you need the information, that's fine. If you need the consultation, that's fine. But if you need to talk to me and it's not willing to, if you need information and it's not worth $25 for me to know that you're not going to waste my time, then you need to reevaluate re the situation. And that's all that $25 does is reassures me that you're not going to waste my time. I get calls, people just want to talk, and I'm sorry, I don't have the time to like just talk, like, I'm business, 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 you know, and it, it probably sounds pretty ignorant and arrogant right now, but it's my business. Helping you guys on that personal level is a business. This YouTube, it, it's free to you guys. There's 375 videos. There's not one question you can ask me that is not in the video. 
So what, like, what's the, like, what's the point? So, that's that. I got that off my chest. If you watch this part and you got that part, you're probably not the issue. Just saying. But, alright guys, as I was saying, like, share, subscribe, hit that ding ding, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.